Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transport review. Yeah. Today, I'll be taking a look at the second set of New Age Constructicons. This is um, Constructicon or Construction Camp Carcel. That is <laughs> Carcel. I guess that's how you say it. Golly. That is Scrapper. And you've got Materials Morbus, and that is Mixmaster. So there you go. This is the second set for the uh, Combiner Devastator. There you go on this side, and then on this side, and then you got the back. Uh, you know, standard, you know, new age packaging, all that good stuff. Really nice. They display wool. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, really excited for this. Now, I have already have an issue with my scrapper, which I will tell you when I get to it, uh, mainly in transformation. Uh, I had a little issue with mine. So, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, hope you like this. Let's get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick look what they come with. And here are their weapons. This is scrapper. Nice little sculpt work. No paint. So you got that. And this is Mixmasters. This is his little pew pew pistol. And once again, no paint. Just a little sculpt work. And they come with their horns. Very nicely done for the coronation scene. Nice gold paint. Both of them are same. And just like the other two, they come with six Energon cubes. Nice little pink little things going on. Looks good. That's awesome. Playability. I love it. So there you go. That's what they come with. All right. There they are in their alt modes. They look pretty good. Not going to lie. We'll take a look. This is Mixmaster and this is a scrapper. We'll take a look at Mixmaster first. And there you go. You got the cement barrel. Now it does not turn. Would have been pretty cool if they'd done that. But nice purple for the windows, side and the front. Nice gray paint right here. Looks pretty good. They're kind of plain Jane, just like the other two. Got some green paint. This right here is painted green. You can tell it's a little, it's a little lighter and, or brighter than what this is. And this part right down here is painted too as well. That's the little two guns on top of his head. So there you go. There's a little sculpt work right there. So like I said, underneath. Not much to them. They do roll not really well on this uh, surface, but they do roll pretty good. So there is Mixmaster. And we'll take a look at Scrapper. And with no paint at all to see this fella. Now underneath you do see some paint, but yeah, he's kind of plain Jane as well. Now he does roll. just as, He does roll good. Uh, not on this surface, but there. Now you can lift his shovel. Now he does have three points right here, and you got one right there, and then one right here. So you can do it like this. Oh, very nice. Now you got these little teeth on the right there on the shovel. They do collapse whenever I don't know why they just didn't leave them all like you know stationary like that. Those two, but yeah, that option of you don't have to have them out if you don't want to. You can do that, but they move, and then underneath right there. And the canopy also uh, actually moves too a little bit. So there you go. There, and that's it. Not much to them. Kind of plain Jane. You know, not a lot of paint either as well. As well. But they look real good. There you go. That is Scrapper and Mixmaster in their alt mode. And there they are, the four together right now. Man, they're coming together so good. I can't wait. Cannot wait for other two, and I can't wait to combine to Devastator. But there you go. There's the four Constructicons I have right now, and mm, freaking awesome. So there you go. And real quick, there you are next to Smokescreen. He is a new age car, just for some little scale reference there for you. And Crapagonics, some crappy toilet paper, AAA battery, and care bears for more scale. All right, folks, transformation time. I'm going to do Scrapper first. And like I said at the beginning, I do have an issue with mine. So... While I was transforming him back and forth, I popped off the chest. It's not supposed to have that. But I got to where it can stay in, and then I had no issues with it. But whenever I'm moving it down, I'll show you how to transform it. But see, it stays on just fine. I'm shaking the crap out of it, and it will stay on just fine. So transformation first. We'll do this real quick. Flip out the legs. 
and you want to separate the legs. You want to flip out the foot right here, like that. Let me show that again. Flip out the foot like that. Then push down these little things right there. And there you go. That is how you transform the legs and the feet. All right. Now with this, so you're going to untab the arms. There's a little tab right there. It goes in that slot right there. And as you can see, this is a little loose right there for me. Now, like I said, it was my fault. Um, what you have to do is you have to turn it around. Try to get there. And see, whenever you're transforming it to construction out of the vehicle mode or alt mode, you have to push it up. Well, for some reason, mine was really, really tight. See, I just pushed it down. It is locked in. It won't move. I'm shaking the crap out of it. It is fine. It's locked in. But you have to, whenever, the first time I transformed this thing, that would not hardly move. And I put too much pressure on it. And the, it popped off. But I was able to, you know, get it in there and be fine. So then the next thing you want to do is you want to push this down. This is on a slider. And this right here is on a slider too. Now this might pop off the chest a little bit. But if you just hold that in right there, my chest is fine. It is a little broke, but like I said, it was my fault. Not the, it was just, you know, really tight. And what you do is you flip out the hands and you want to extend right here, extend right there. And then there you go. That is how you transform Scrapper. All right, get them in the right arm position and move that. And you want to flip these in. If you want to, you don't have to, but they're there and you move that. So like I said, my chest piece popped off. Just be careful when the first time you transform, like I said, you have to, it's on a slider. You got to push it up and turn it. Just be careful because I put too much pressure and it just popped it off. But like I said, I was able to put it back on and it's fine and it'll be all right. But that's how you transform Scrapper. I'm just giving y'all a word of you know advice. Be careful when you're transforming this part and moving the arms up and down too as well. They're on sliders. Just be careful. So that is how you transform him. Put him over to the side and we'll work on uh, Mixmaster. All right, let's bring Mixmaster in. Okay, so first thing you want to do with him is you want to kind of, you're going to have this little piece right here. It's kind of in, in between there. So you're going to kind of lift it up a little bit and let it maneuver it out there. And you're going to extend that and then extend the green part. Then what you want to do is untab the legs or feet. We got some wonky legs and feet. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take this part, swing it around like this. Now you want this green part right here to fit in this slot right there. Sorry, I missed it. You want to get this green part right here in there. Like that. Then you want to bring the purple part back like that. So you want it to look like that right there okay and then move this part and then move that right there and that is one of the feet now you can leave it the wheel right there or you can leave it like this i'm gonna leave it like that so that is how you do that leg all right let's do it one more time open that up flip it around and then you want like i said you want this green piece right here to fit in there and you want this to go back and like that and you want the leg to look like that okay then you want to flip that open again move this down flip that up and there you go like i said you can what did i do wrong sorry that was wrong i apologize this part right here Needs to be lined up like that. And then you're gonna just put the window up in there. And there you go. That is how you do the, the legs. Make sure this goes down like that. And golly, come on now. There we go. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but you know, once you get it there, there you go. All right, arms. Want to untab 
there. So it's gonna, there's a little slot right there, or tab right there, goes in that slot, move the arms out. Don't know if they extend or not. Okay, move this up. Now you want to move, this is on a slider, so you can see that little gap right there. Move that down, flip this down, like that. Okay, now with the barrel, what you wanna do is, you wanna open it up right here, extend it like that, I'm sorry, extend it, yeah. And then move it down, and then cover that up, and then move that down right there, and that is how you do that. And there you go. That is how you transform Mixmaster. All right, let me clean up these little fellas and I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna take a quick look at Quick, our Mixmaster, not Quick Master. <laughs> this is Mixmaster. We're gonna look, look at him real quick. There he is, nice head sculpt. Got the nice, it kinda looks like a Decepticon symbol on his forehead. Love that red, red, uh, you know, the metallic red right there, the cherry red looks really good, and on the chest. Looks nice, he got some gray kind of accent, accent pieces right there. Looks nice. And this is painted green for some reason. Like I said, it's a little lighter green than what the plastic is for some reason. Now you can lift this up and down, and you can, you know, side to side with the head. Now, doesn't, eh, it looks down a little bit, not much, not to write home about, nothing up, just side to side, so not much uh, movement there, and you can move the uh, little guns, I guess, if you want to. Once again, nice chest area, it's like not a whole lot of paint on these fellows, so you can go all the way up to here, but you can get a little bit up a little more, right there, all the way around, it does on a ball peg, uh, about 90 degrees for the elbow bend, bicep swivel, Nothing for the hand, just a little in and out because of transformation. There you go. Now he does have a waist swivel and he has an ab crunch. And he also has a little right here if you want to get into the dynamic poses uh, just because of the, uh, you know, combination and everything when he combines. They are both the uh, legs and feet of Devastator. So uh, waist swivel, then bandam all day, kick up. Uh, he does have a flap right here, so you can lift that up a little bit. Kick up and kick back. Now, it, hinder, it gets caught up in there whenever you're trying to move back and forth, so be wary of that. Thigh swivel looks good. Knee, uh, knee bend is kind of weird. He's got some weird legs and knees and stuff, but you can get all the way back there. And then the feet. Um, nothing for the feet. You can get a rocker, but this is kind of... It's tabbed into it, so you have to kind of untab it to get a little rocker, I guess. He just got some weird feet. Now, there's this big issue. He does have huge, huge gaps in there. You can get some syrup in there all day. Uh, New Age has already put out some uh, CAD drawings of how they're fixed it. You know, so, if, you know, that if it really doesn't matter, you know, you don't have to worry about it. But if that bothers you, like, I'm going to put him in um, De Devastator. He's going to be in my combiner, then I'm, I'm going to probably get the uh, toy versions and leave them in uh, bot modes. But yeah, they're, his legs and feet are kind of wonky, They're really wonky. But there's the back right there. He does have some gas, but they are fixing it. That's pretty cool. New Age, you know, found out the issue or, you know, knew that there was going to be a problem and they're going to fix it. So that is Mixmaster. And we're going to look at Scrapper. And once again, beautiful head sculpt. Love the ruby red eyes and that little red right there. He's got some light purple right there and some black paint. And the face has got that light purple too. Looks good. Now he can look down a little bit, up quite a bit. You can move the shovel back and you can get back a little bit more. Side to side, eh, a little, nah, not much of an attitude. But nice waist swivel, I mean, nice chest. Like I said, mine is still good. I did break it, but it will stay on there and it'll do, like I said, he's going to be in combined mode. So you won't even really notice, uh, paint right here with the green and the, uh, gray right there or the color right there, a lot of light purple. Now you can go up to there all the way around, uh, 90 degrees bicep swivel, his hands open. So I don't know, two of them, you know, on the first set, one of them opened and his opened. So they may be getting some new hands. Who knows? Uh, but you can just take them off. They just pull off the little peg. Now, he has a waist swivel, but he does not have a ab crunch. 
He can Van Dam all day. You can lift this flap up. I think. Yep. Kick up, kick back, by a thigh swivel. Very nice. Does have a nice knee bend just because of transformation. Get all the there. Uh, he does have a rocker. He has a toe tilt down, nothing up. And then you got the shovel, and it can move a little bit up and this way like that. You can curve it like that. And there, he does got some gaps too as well. So very weird, very strange that uh, they got some waffles going on. But there you go. That is Mixmaster and Scrapper. That's their articulation and sculpt work. There you go. Real quick, just want to show you, you can hold the weapons and the uh, trumpets. Real easy. There you go. Pretty cool. Oh, and real quick, I just want to show you where I did break it. You know, it does come off, but it will stay in there. But mine's, just pull that off. See, it is a little, little tab right there. Like I said, it has a little slider and it screws into that. I guess it's a screw, but it's fine. Once I get it in there, just put it in there and it will stay in there. So just want to say, be careful. Just be careful when you transform the first time, when you're sliding it up, do not put a ton of pressure. Just kind of work with it. So you won't break yours. I said it's all my fault. I understand that. Not blaming New Age. So there you go. That's how I broke the chest off of mine. And there they are, all four together in bot modes. And mm, can't wait for the other two to come out. I'm so excited. Can't wait for Magic Square to release theirs. I think their two first ones coming out, their leg modes are uh, coming out real soon. Chosen Prime should be getting them. So once I get them, definitely would do some comparisons. And I can't wait to uh, get all of them together and form Devastator so I can do comparisons of that as well. So there you go, all four together. Looks pretty good. And there's Shockwave, Megatron, and Starscream from New Age, just for a little scale. Crappagonics, crappy toilet paper, Care Bears, a AAA battery, and Squeaks for more scale. All right, folks, let's talk about some new age legend scale. This is Scrapper and Mixmaster from, you know, Constructicons. Man, I'm so excited. They looked good. They look great together. I can't wait to get the other two. Uh, Scrapper, he's, good. you know, it's fine. Uh, the alt mode is fine. You know, it's kind of plain. No paint at all. New age is known for their paint. Uh, now, bot mode really looks good. I love all the paint on the face and the chest. That looks really good. Transformation is easy. Shouldn't be too hard to figure. Figure it out. Just be careful. Like I said, I did break mine. My fault. Uh, once you know, like I said, once you're pushing the chest up for that slider, just be careful. Kind of wiggle a little bit so you won't put too much force and snap it off like I did. Luckily, I was able to fix it, and it's just fine. It'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I like the um, articulation is pretty good. He doesn't have an ab crunch, uh, but other than that, really good on that. The paint, skull part looks really good. So really nice. I like Scrapper. He's pretty cool. And Mixmaster. Uh, the alt mode looks pretty good too as well. I uh, wish the barrel would turn, but yeah, you know, that's just a little, little nitpick. Uh, Transformation is really easy. Uh, bot mode is decent. You know, he's, uh, you know, the legs and from the knee down are just wonky. <clears throat> the way they're, you know, the way they engineered and everything, it just, they're just really wonky. And you do got that big old gap. Like I said, New Age uh, has made a fix for it. Uh, they did put out a CAD drawing. I hope that they give the, you know, the give the people that have already bought this to uh you know do that instead of paying for something else if you have to buy you know had to buy it i'll probably just skip it and just keep it like this he's going to be in leg mode anyway so it really doesn't matter uh but there is a big garbage but new age knows about it and that's pretty cool that they're trying to fix it uh transformation easy uh 
paint, you know, once again, not a whole lot, but you know, where it's at is pretty good, but kind of wish they, he has more paint than he does, than a scrapper does. So that's pretty good. Articulation is pretty decent. The head movement's not that well, but he does have an ab crunch and he's got the little teapot. Uh, he does too have the little teapot, you know, little uh, side to side thing. Uh, I didn't show that off, but he does have that as well. But it's just the legs are really wonky on this guy. But other than that, fine. I love the trumpets, the gun. The trumpet thing is really cool. Uh, I can't wait to do that scene with the coordination uh, with the star scream. Looks pretty good. So yeah, overall, I'm really excited for this set. It looks good. I can't wait for Magic Square to get theirs in. Uh, so yeah, that was my review over Mixmaster and Scrapper. Hope you liked it. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. And uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transform review. As always, be good to yourself. Hell, new age, and good night, folks. Man, look at these. Can't wait to get them all. Look so good. So giddy like a little schoolgirl. All right.